When we hear of intelligence services, everyone's first thought is James Bond or Jack Bauer. Yet in reality, the world of espionage is rather different. For a while, the U.S. has disclosed how much money it allocates their intelligence agencies each year. Yet the exact details were locked in secrecy until we found out via a high-profile leak. Today, we're going to delve into what their black budget cash is exactly spent on, as well as how much the U.S. security budget is altogether. We're also going to see just how much cash some other nations spend on their intelligence and agencies. So let's get started. During 2007, the U.S. Congress put through a motion that meant the U.S. intelligence services had to disclose the yearly amount of funding they received from the government, both for their National Intelligence Program, or NIP, and Military Intelligence Program, or MIP. However, the exact details of what the cash was spent on was hidden due to security concerns. Until 2013, that is. More on that shortly. In 2007, the overall intelligence budget was $63.5 billion. Over the next couple of years, the budget kept rising by around $5 billion. In 2010, it eventually hit a huge $80.1 billion. But then, the budget decreased for a few years, falling to $66.8 billion by 2015. The reason for this decrease is said to be due to the U.S. beginning to move their troops out of Iran from 2011. Yet after that fall, the finances began to increase once more. This began near the beginning of Donald Trump's presidency in 2017. The budget for that year was set at $73 billion. By the end of his term in 2020, it was at $85.8 billion. This budget is split between all of the U.S.'s intelligence services. Usually, the exact figures for how much money each agency gets is classified. Currently, there are 17 intelligence agencies, including the newest member, Space Force, which was introduced to the United States Intelligence community in 2020. In 2013, NSA employee Edward Snowden leaked a load of classified details to the world's press on the U.S. spy activities via WikiLeaks. As a result, we got to peek behind the curtain on what goes on in a notoriously secretive industry. In 2013, the U.S. had a total budget of nearly $71.9 billion, with the National Intelligence Program receiving $52.6 billion and Military Intelligence Program Program getting $19.2 billion. Later, the total figure dropped to $67.6 billion when the difference was sequestered because of the Budget Control Act of 2011. With Snowden's leaks, we can see what the NIP spent their budget on in 2013. The CIA received the biggest portion of this cash with $14.7 billion. Since 2004, this was an increase of 56%, while the NSA received $10.8 billion, an increase of 53%, and the National Reconnaissance Office, or NRO, had $10.3 billion, with an increase of 12%. The rest was diverted between the remaining, then, 13 agencies. The leaks show that there are four main categories of spending for the agencies. They are data processing and exploitation, data collection, data analysis, and finally, management facilities and support. For the CIA, most of their budget of $11.5 billion went towards data collection. For the NSA, their largest expense was management, facilities, and support. They spent $5.2 billion, nearly half of their cash there. The NRO followed the CIA in spending most of their budget in data collection with $6 billion being allocated. From the whole budget, nearly $25.3 billion was allocated to data collection, the biggest category, while data processing and exploitation received the least amount of cash with $6.1 billion, only slightly less than data analysis at $6.2 billion. Finally, management facilities and support received a total of around $14.4 billion. If we look more closely at the top three agencies' budgets and look at the specific expenses type, the CIA's biggest expenditure was covert operations. There, they spent $2.6 billion. The NSA, on the other hand, had two areas that were the priciest. Both had $1.6 billion spent on them. They were enterprise IT systems and facilities and logistics. The NRO spent most of their budget on geospatial intelligence, electro-optical, with $1.8 billion. Geospatial Intelligence, or GEOINT, is the information gathered from analyzing data and imagery of a location. The whole $52.6 billion budget was provided under five mission objectives. $20.1 billion was for warning U.S. leaders about critical events. 
The lowest amount was $3.8 billion that went to the mission of defending against foreign espionage. The other missions included conducting cyber operations with $4.3 billion, stopping spread of illicit weapons with $6.7 billion, and finally combating violent extremism with $17.2 billion. We thought we'd look at the intelligence budgets for a number of other countries as a comparison. However, most of the budgets are classified, of course, so most of the exact details on what the money was spent on is unknown. But we do have the overall budgets. Overall, in the United Kingdom, they have 10 intelligence agencies at the moment. The three most well-known groups are MI5, MI6, and GCHQ. These three groups get their funding from what's known as the Single Intelligence Account, or SIA. In 2013 to 2014, the SIA had a budget of nearly 2.5 billion pounds. That's around 3.4 billion dollars. In 2017 to 2018, the SIA budget increased to 3.2 billion pounds, or 4.4 billion dollars. In 2020, news came out that Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister, had allocated an extra 16 billion pounds, or 22 billion dollars, that will be spread out over the next four years. The money would go on top of the existing budget for the Ministry of Defense, who has their own intelligence gathering branch. The current MOD budget is set at 41.5 billion pounds, or 57 billion dollars. Over to the United States neighbors, Canada, their main agency is the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, or CSIS. In 2015 to 2016, the Canadian government allocated CSIS a budget of 537 million Canadian dollars. That's around 420 million US dollars. The following year of 2016 to 2017, the money rose to 589 million Canadian dollars, or 462 million US dollars. Over the next couple of years, the budget dropped ever so slightly, eventually hitting 587 million Canadian dollars or 460 million US dollars in 2018 to 2019. Then, in 2019 to 2020, the budget shot up once more. The CSIS received 611 million Canadian dollars or 479 million US dollars. The current budget of 2020 to 2021 jumped even further to 652 million Canadian dollars or 511 million US dollars. For Australia, one of their biggest agencies is the Australian Secret Intelligence Service, or ASIS. They're described as a foreign intelligence gathering branch, much like the UK's MI6. For the years 2019 to 2020, the ASIS were handed a budget of 586 million Australian dollars, or 450 million US dollars, a slight increase of the previous year, since it was 584 million Australian dollars, or 448 million US dollars. The budget for 2020-2021 was increased to 630 million, or 484 million US dollars. One of the best known failures by the CIA is the infamous Day of Pigs invasion. The 1961 event was the spy organization's attempt to overthrow Cuba's leader at the time, Fidel Castro. In 1960, then US President Dwight Eisenhower gave the CIA $13 million to find ways to remove Castro. Today, with inflation, that would be around $114 million. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.